Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. In this uh, tutorial, uh, we will investigate the effect of uh, surcharge load on the factor safety of uh, the slope. Uh, so this is uh, this is our example, and uh, the model is about uh, 45 meter meters long and about 28 meters high and the uh, slope is one meter horizontal to uh, slope is one horizontal to one vertical and the surcharge load is uh, two meter away uh, from the crest of the slope and this is the properties of the soil which is uh, used in the uh, slope uh, we use uh, the more column model and then this is the uh, saturated and unsaturated unit rate of the soil and this is the uh, shear strength parameters also this is the groundwater parameters and the amount of uh, surcharge load is about uh, 60 uh, kilonewton per uh, square meter per meter so the first uh, thing we have to do, uh, we will mesh our model. So in this example, we will use uh, the fine mesh to uh, decrease the effect of mesh on our result. So this is the This is the mesh model. So after that, we will go to flow condition. In here, I defined uh, the uh, water level. In here, create water level. So uh, the water level is located here, as you see in the model. So after that, we will uh, proceed to uh, stage construction mode. So we have uh, in here, as you see, we have initial phase and after that we have factor of safety. Uh, also we have another uh, uh, stage after the initial phase we have a surcharge load and after the surcharge load we have a factor of safety. What does this mean? This means after initial phase we will calculate the factor of safety without the surcharge load. But uh, also, we will compare uh, the factor of safety uh, after performing the uh, surcharge load on the top of the slope. So that's why in in uh, in this phase we will activate the surcharge load. Uh, also, after that we will again calculate the factor of safety. And for example, uh, as you see in here, uh, this is the initial phase and after initial phase we uh, we will use the calculation type as a factor uh, as a safe to calculate the factor of safety also after the initial phase we will add uh, the surcharge load and uh, in this phase we use the plastic calculation type and after that again we use the safety calculation uh, i will uh, choose a point uh, near this region which is critical to calculate the factor of safety against the uh, display against the displacement or deformation of the soil so we click select the point and i zoom the slope and i select the point in here and update so now the model is uh, ready for analysis and we calculate
Okay, as you see the calculation is uh, finished and we save the model and we go to uh, view calculation results. So this is the deformation uh, in the last phase, the deformation of the slope. Uh, also this is the deformation before applying the self charge load. So in here we can also we can also see the uh, failure surface of the slope before applying the self charge load. Also after applying the search and load this is the failure surface of the slope to see the factor of safety uh, at each stage we go to the care manager and we uh, select new in the x axis we choose uh, the point we selected before and we choose the total displacement also in the y-axis we choose uh, the summation of ML MSF so uh, we can do some changes for example this is the factor of safety before uh, the surcharge which is about 1.982 if we want to see the factor of safety after applying the surcharge load it is about 1.586 also in here we can check the factor of safety uh, in here we click on edit phase as we see in here factor of safety phase we can see that the factor of safety is about 1.982 before applying the surcharge load. After applying the surcharge load, the factor of safety becomes 1.584. So this is uh, this example showed us how the surcharge load affected the factor of safety of the slope and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial please do not forget to subscribe my channel